Hi, right, um, this is the second video in the three about painting and designing 15 mil buildings and uh, basically this one I'm just going to get on and paint a kit and uh, you'll see the stages as I go and you'll get a feel for how you can deal with detail or skim over detail in some cases as we go. So, right, something maybe not thought of using before very large black marker pen. I'm just going to start I'm going to move things out of the way because of the workspace. There we go. I'm going to take a little door. Now, you know normally you would prime a base coat whatever the colour is supposed to be. Well, on the windows and doors on this kit I'm literally going to just draw in the surface. And the good thing with the black marker pen is it doesn't actually have any paint thickness, paint sort of tolerance to it. So there we go. Quite quick. There's your windows done, almost. Blacked in. see we're in the first video I was talking about the etched lines and the details here yeah um, if we get closer they would burn out in a couple of seconds once this is done sorry for the noise a bit like a chalkboard if he's down his spine. There we go. Fairly swift use of the marker pen to get that done. And what you'll see, I'll just quickly do that. Pretty effective. Now you could leave it like that, or what I like to do is bear with just shaking a pot of white paint off screen. There we go. Give myself a bit more space. Just as a bit of dry brushing. Dry brushing meaning there's no water on the brush. I've not put it in any water to uh, thin paint down. Take off the excess as you would do with normal sort of weathering dry brushing. And then what I'm going to do, as you can see, and it just brings up all that detail. Although in the real building it's a brown door, I want to get just the overlights detailed. And now you can start to see how how fine the detail is on the laser cutting. I use the marker pen not to prevent paint from soaking into that detail and obscuring it, but because it it's very quick. Sometimes I use, you go, see, that's where you can see where taking the excess off just helps. There go. That was sloppy paint right by the way. A little bit of paint. See how fairly quick it is, and you're gaining a feel and a detail to it. There you are. Now I'm working in parts, I'm not assembling the building because it's easier in all scales 15, 28 to just work, work through. Now that sort of give you a, a grey weathered wood look and it highlights the windows in it. Now you can quite simply using a finer brush one of those that is a double zero if you wanted to 
you can what I do is just highlight just the crosses I'm not going to highlight the frames they're fiddly it's a bit like painting eyes which I don't do on figures like so just gives you that feeling that the frame is white frame although some of you may say but the building it should have brown frames depends on what century do you, I'm going to go through all of that later and do those so they all complement each other now just as quick are the walls now I do some assembly and I'm going to do these in parts again it the bigger the kit doing it in parts makes it easier to handle you can actually get into the nitty-gritty and get around it this is somewhat the same even though when it's a 15 mil building it's easier to do but with my you can see the shadow I'm shaking paint just gonna, I'm actually going to work quite quickly here in four tones including the white work from the lids a little bit upside down for you okay so now all I'm going to do is yet again with the base tone no ceiling I'm not worrying either about the the cleanliness of the paintwork or the cleanliness of my workbench I'm just going straight on I just want to get a base colour. As I say, it, it really is very different, um, not very different, sorry, to how I paint all the buildings. First coat, gets it on, gets a base coat colour. Like so. I'm not going to worry about obscuring the whole of the MDF because, well, the subsequent layers will do that for me. Okay. Do another panel quickly. As you can see, I'm also not worried about the details of the lintels over and above the win and the window sills. quick now I'm working here with multiple brushes because of speed painting for the to get the video of a reasonable length it is literally a case of just dry brushing over tone by tone letting each tone show through and you can see all it's doing is catching up the detail on the etching on the actual panel so all the way around merging in now at this stage I am not going to worry about catching in all these little edges so same brush I'm getting a rough look. I'm not worrying about an even coat. I'm looking for stone. Rough, rubbled stone. In this case, it's more iron stone, which is a browner, not sandstone so much as iron stone. And then uh, going higher. Now I'm just opening up the white. A little bit of the very pale beige. Like so, and then really going in there light. Now that's quick and rough and ready. So I'm going to carry on and I'm going to do all the panels. I'll finish off those window frames with those little dots in there 
and I'll take it to a point where the roof is done, all this basic work is done and then I'll come in and do the details and start picking out stones and I'll probably use crayons or marker pens to actually achieve that and then as we go you'll see what the finished article is like. Okay, come back number three and uh, I'll hopefully have a building that I can detail up. Thank you very much. Bye.